Hi everyone, in today's Animal Crossing New Horizons video, I am going to be visiting another forest-themed island. Now, I am very excited to visit this island, because I do really like the forest core islands. I am currently doing a tropical island, but I think one day I'll do a forest core island. So first, we let's look at the map and see who they have. Now, they have Raymond, uh, Patty, I believe her name is. And a bunch of pretty good other villagers. Now it's different from the ones you usually see on a forest core island like Eric or Fauna. And then firstly when you walk out, it's very nice like a river or a pond or some waterway right here. Which looks very, very nice. And then you have like a dock it looks like. Or I guess that's what it would be. And that looks very, very nice. And let's go to the left first and see all the stuff that's there. Now, Nuke's Clanny is on the beach, which looks nice. I feel like people like to put the Nuke's Clanny on the beach if it doesn't, like, fit in with the island theme, which makes sense. And then if we continue this way, it just looks like a bunch of these trees. So let's continue back this way, to the right, and you can go up this ladder here. And so let's go up it and see what's up here. So we have a bunch of different tree items and uh, weeds and flowers and vines, like a lot of different items, and this is very hard to get around. Now let's see, can I get around this way, or do I have to jump? Okay, I was able to get past. Now can I jump? Come on, okay, that's what I do. Come on, can I get around? Uh, come on, I know there's a path right there, but this is extremely hard. Now I have to jump. Okay, there we go. I did it. And now we are over here, and I took the hardest way possible to get over here. Hmm. What's over here? Oh, that looks really nice. There's the tent, and like a picnic area, and then a camera, then you have the storefront buildings, and a resident's home, which overlooks a pond, and then, well, a river, I guess it would be, and then you have all the other homes, uh, straight across, and then you have a bunch of different types of storefronts, which look really nice, and then we have a giant storefront building right here, which is huge, and then Able Sisters, and if we continue to the left here, you can see this looks very, very cool. It's like a waterfall into a, a pond that that uh, is another waterfall and drains into the ocean. I guess that's how you would describe it. And then you have the caves right here. And that's how far you can go. The bush is blocking. And then, again, the trees are very, very... Like, it's amazing, the trees, because it's all different sizing. It's not all the big size. So you can fit more trees, which looks really nice. Then you have more storefronts and the vine chairs. I definitely like that item. And then cactus. I guess that looks kind of funny. I guess it actually doesn't look funny. It does look cool because it's different from just the trees and wheat fields. But it does look good. And then you have the on the peninsula a gazebo. And then you have all the wheat fields and then silos. Like this is a smart idea. I don't know why I didn't do this on my island. Like I very much love this idea. And then we, we have like a small farm with growing sugar cane, potatoes, very small farm. Now let's, can I climb up this vine? What about this one? No. How about we go, continue this way, up this incline right here? Well actually, how about we explore the bottom here and see what's down here? There is a path. Now if I continue this way, we, there's a bench with a small light and then a pond, which looks really nice with the rocks surrounding it. I think that looks really cool. Well, and pretty. And then another villager home, and then the trees, and then the iron fence, and then the campsite sign put backwards, and then you have like a lead come, so you have the stool and the electro bus stop side by side to create a building, which looks really nice. And then we have another incline, and where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay, I was stuck. Now, let's see, what is this way? And medieval sidewalls and storefronts to create the buildings, which looks very, very, which looks nice. Now let's head up there and see. And there's a pond and the storefronts and a bunch of items up here. And then, oh, what's this? Hmm, what is it? I don't know. Bunch of logs and it's big. I, why can't I? I feel like I should know what this is. Now what is it? Oh, and then right here, the gazebo looks nice in the homes. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh. Why well, I don't know why that took me so long. It is a clock. Now you can tell with the log stools placed around. And then all the bushes as like the clock hands. Oh, that's really, really cool. I don't know why that took me so long to figure out. It was like nagging at me 
where it's shaped like a clock, I, it, but I don't know if it is a clock, but it's 100% a clock, and it looks amazing. I mean, that's really cool to have, and around these homes, like a giant clock made out of flowers and bushes. I don't think it moves, though, but it's still, like, that's super cool. That's amazing. And then you have the sugar cane, and a well, and more storefronts. And now, what's right here? A bunch of actual bus stops with designs of a window. I guess they're very old shops. And then a bunch of handheld lantern, a lantern, a ladder, some gifts. I'm not going to grab everything. I'm just going to grab these. Now, I don't think I need the ladder. Let's open the gift. Plain cotton candy. And what's right here? A vanilla ice soft serve ice cream. Now, let's make sure not to eat it so I don't get that hunger bar in the top left. And because that drives me crazy when exploring an island because it just blocks uh, items. And now we're back at the beginning. Let's go to the airport just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I don't think I... Except for this home. Let's go down here. Okay, you have the locks. There's like a fence. That looks very nice. And then to the left here, it looks like you just ends up going to that incline now that just leads to where i've already been now let's go in the house which looks really nice i like the white wood and the red roof and is there anything oh and all the trees surrounding it this would be a very nice place to live and then you have another well let's just see what's along here and then you have signs pointing to nukes cranny i believe or the plaza and then this path just connects to the plaza which looks very nice. And then over here, this is where all the store friends are. Okay, that just makes sense. Now let's go under these pergolas. I've already looked at that. And let's follow the signs and go this way. Alright, I want to see if I missed anything. I don't think I did. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, I've already been over here. I think I did everything over here. I saw everything. Now let's continue and there's one of the players. And then, let's go here. And this is very nice. I like how it goes from, like, a dirt pathing to a wooden pathing. And then back to the dirt pathing. And surrounding, like, the tree. The pathing, the layout is very nice. And then you have the gazebos. And what is right here? Can I get out? I'm stuck. Oh, I like the clock tower right there. That looks very, very, very nice. And if we continue this way... There is an incline down here. So let's go down there. We're now on this wooden board floor. And then this way. Oh, this is so smart. It's a pergola. It's using the pergolas with the wooden pathing that they used. Which looks very, very nice. And then a more electro bus stops. And then let's down here. Now I'm just going to quickly run and see. I love that majority. I just saw more residents right there than I have on the island. And I think it's just these trees and wheat fields. All the way down, I keep getting stuck on the bases. They blend in extremely well to the beach. And we have some stools. And that is it. Okay, I was just curious if there was anything down here. But it's still a good way to decorate the beach. Not a lot to decorate. I wish you could fill in the beach or expand it. Like, hopefully that's a new feature in the game. Where you can do more customization like, with the beach. Like make, you know, maybe making your whole island like sandy instead of just a pathing. Or you can fill it in or push it more into the ocean. I don't know, but I feel like that would be a cool feature. Now let's put that away because I imagine myself accidentally hitting it. And then, oh, I'm right back here. Is this a different home? Okay, this must be a different home. How about I will go, how, I'm going to go in it really quick and see what's inside. Now I just got to wait for it to load. And I'm very curious if they're going to decorate. Uh, hopefully they did. And they did. Okay, this looks so nice. With the tent and the couch. There's a lot of items in here. And then to the left, we have the kitchen. Then a table. And then what's right here? Okay, it's just blocked off, it looks like. I wonder why it's blocked off. Maybe it's for, like, a pantry in a way, I guess it would be. And then all the other items are blocked off. Let's go to the basement. And there was no more decoration in the basement, so I just skipped it. And that was a very good house design. Now let's explore up here a bit more before we go down to the lower level. And let's see. Going over here and following this pathing leads to another villager home. This is a very narrow pathing. 
and we are on top. Now, I've seen this pathing book before. I don't know. I saw it a couple years ago or something when I was trying to decorate my island. I just don't. I it must be very popular because I've seen it a lot. And then you have all the different colors, which look really nice. And then the castle arches. A very good item to use. I'm curious why they didn't customize it. It looks good. Matches the path thing. I'm just curious what it would have looked like with brick. And then, oh, I like that. The Super Mario blocks with the geese on top. Well, I guess they're actually ducks, not geese. And then, what's to the left here? Oh, this, oh. Hey, that's the museum. Oh, that looks very, very nice. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to go in. I meant to turn around. Oh, well, I accidentally went into the museum. Now I'm back out. And then we have a farmer's market. Let's cross the sand bridge, which looks amazing. It's perfectly aligned with the museum, which is very nice. And I like that they surrounded the museum. Like, that is a, that's smart because I feel like the museum doesn't really match. And if you want to create, like, one big building, that's definitely how you do it. So, let's continue down here, and then there's another sand bridge. Now, I very much like this. You have the big bridge, and then you have the smaller, the exact same variant and color, which looks very, very, very uh, nice. And then in the middle here, you have the bushes, and the flowers, and the waterfalls, and then you can actually jump. Now, let's just hop across here really quick. And... Go down, let's move my camera down a bit. And that looks very nice. I know, I've, I've said that a lot, but it just, it does look nice. And now, let's continue this way. And I think we did everything on the top there. Now, this is a very, very nice island. And I believe I visited almost everything. I, I, I'm pretty sure I have. Let's just look around and see because sometimes I miss something and I just want to show it I miss those and if we go back up here there's more homes I feel like this there's, there's ten homes on this island I just I feel like they're not like there's so many buildings on this island. oh able sisters okay I didn't do a good look at this now you have the able sisters and the storefronts and a school chalkboard and a silo and trees and a bench and a swing, and a mailbox, and leaves, and a pot of plant, a pot of plant, a plant, <laughs> I guess, that, that's a lot of items. Well, thank you for watching today's Animal Crossing New Horizons Island Tour video. If you would like to visit this island for yourself, the dream address is in the, uh, is in the description below. So thank you for watching, and good bye!